Hi guys, how's it going? Matthew Tomato here. Welcome back to another City Skylines video. This is uh, the continuation of uh, Cliffside Bay, the standard map that we have been building up. Uh, so last time we sort of sorted out this, we purchased this area of land and we started sorting out this highway here. Uh, and so now we're going to start to expand our residential area down here. Now, have I actually busted an important power connection there? Uh, the answer is no. Seems okay, actually. Um, we do actually have a connection going over here now. So that power line is actually completely redundant. Uh, what I might do though is go ahead and build a solar power plant because they produce a lot of uh, a lot of power, and uh, we're not too worried about day-night cycles in this uh, particular particular gameplay. So I'd like to do this, but hey, oh, we actually have a uh, a landfill that needs to be bulldozed there. Um, How are we going to do this? You know, we could get rid of the wind turbines. And we could position it somewhere along here, maybe. Right, let's clear out some of the wind turbines then. As gracious as they are, we need stuff that produces a lot more power. So, bam, in there. Solar power plant, that's going to sort us out for ages. 160 megawatts. You know, we could probably go up with the second one actually, and really ensure that we have a lot of power going. Yeah, let's go. Considering as well that we are actually going up with um, what is now going to be dense buildings, we are going to be required to have a lot of power. So let's go up with a double solar power plant there then. Right. So I think what we'll do is we'll build our avenue that goes across here and then we'll build our dense stuff in here. So we'll continue with low density for now. But, uh, eventually we will actually drop this down. Uh, well, we'll, we'll um, that looks a little bit off to me. But, uh, oh well. Uh, we'll sort that out when we get there. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I need this. Okay, so... Do I carry on with this structure? I think we probably could. I mean, we could revert back to the, the other structure that we were doing, which is quite cool. Uh, sort of uh, turn a little bit here. Um, yeah, because we are going to be building commercial, aren't we? So, that's bad. No. Oh, for heaven's sake. I think the uh, battery in my mouse is starting to go a little bit funny. Right, so from here then, we want to build a simple inner... I reckon that's going to be perfect. Ah, oh, it's one off, look at that. Right, um... Yeah, see, that's where I was, so it'd be here then. Okay, and then down here. And we'll start with this structure again. Uh, it was good. It actually works quite well. So, oh wow, yeah, nice, uh, nice pathfinding right there. You down to here, and then you to there. Right. So we do have some commercial demand here. So what I'll do is I will go ahead with the uh, the gap that we have been bringing in. Uh, so yeah, we've got that. Okay, good. Uh, because the land is nice and flat, we can actually go up with the beer gardens here. Uh, there, that's brilliant. And then we will... Well, we can actually zone across the cross there as well. So a nice big area of residential like that. We do need some water pipes. So let's sort of extend these sort of down like this. And we'll go go with this structure here. Minimal overlap. We were going with the block thing earlier because that was where we started. Because that's actually the origins of the city over here. I think this was the first estate, wasn't it? This one over here. So that was actually the first estate. 
Yeah, Blazikowski Town needs some work. So we extend out to here to encompass these guys, which I'm sure they will be most happy about. And then probably it's going to be most likely down to this area here. And in sort of like that. Okay, so Blazikowski Town moves, or well, expands southwards. Right now, I need to set up these roads. Because I know, I'm pretty sure, actually, the best way of doing it is probably like this. Yeah, ever so slight kink. Right. So, I guess the problem here now is the fact that I have no choice but to go with this particular setup. That could potentially be another uh, another intersection here, actually. I think we'll make another roundabout there. It's probably going to work out quite well, actually. I think we'll do that. And, yeah, we'll probably have these two exits, and we'll have a specific highway exit down here to the south as well. I think we'll need one, because this is going to be busy. So, I think the roads may be slightly messed up here, because of the... Um, so the, the layout. I don't know. We might actually be alright. I don't know. Let's have a go. So we'll go up to this now there and there. Yeah, we are actually slightly messed up. Only by a tile though. Literally one row. Yeah, one tile row there. Um, I'm actually quite tempted just to go with this. So it's a little bit different, but that that's too, yeah, this is quite major. We could have gone with that, I suppose. Would have probably been okay, but uh, I think the one road down the middle will be fine. Uh, so probably going to line commercial along this road. Um, probably sort of along here as well. Although that seems to be a little bit odd. Like that, and then... Whoa, yeah, because that's brilliant. Um, up to there, there's a slight hill problem there. So what I might do is actually dezone these bits completely. I don't think that's going to be... A, yeah, again in the middle. Like that. Da, 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 da. Right. Seems okay so far. Again, I think we'll go with another. Yeah, that'd be fine. And what I might do actually is for the purposes of the land value, we've got the Paradox Plaza over here. I might go ahead and chuck up a couple of these to either side of that. And okay, I'm not going to be able to build a road there. But I know that, but uh, these plazas are actually very good for commercial. So, the purpose of that is just to uh, improve some commercial land value there. We're most likely going to be building down here, so we'll go up with something like that. Because I'm most likely going to increase a little bit of the uh, coverage of that. Right, so slowly but surely, now yeah, the problem is that uh, we have an industry demand, but we don't really have anywhere to put it. Not at the moment, anyway. Um, so the other option, really, is that we do have our high-density city here, we have our office space in here, and I build another small sort of industry area over here. I guess that's another option. I could do that. So, sort of just another place for people to go. Right, I'll carry that on there, but I'll switch it around uh, like that. Right, so how would probably therefore make it a six lane one way that sort of goes around the outside here. Most likely, anyway. So anybody coming into the city 
Actually, that's an idea. Um, I'm actually going to pick up this here. Hmm, this is actually something that I've never really done before. Something a bit like this. That's probably going to be fine, as long as I can straighten it. As it happens, I can. So, ooh, that's not quite straight along the bottom, though, is it? I don't think. No, nah, doesn't matter too much. Uh, but then with the highway... Uh, actually going to pick it up, page up, and actually rise above the junction, like that. Because the reason being, I want this to be the way in, and then we'll have the way out over here, and yeah, basically. So one way in and one way out. Pretty much. So, up to here, up to here, I mean, I don't know whether that, yeah, see, that makes the three other lanes completely redundant. So, from here, then, what I might want to do is just Something a little bit like that, but then from this area I will have a two lane that comes off of here, there we go, so three lanes for straight on, and then a two lane that just comes off of here, and does this basically. And guess and take it up to there. Oh, there's not, not actually the ability to put that in. So down like this. There we go. And I guess we could make it into avenues, like pretty much all the way, because. There's going to be a lot of traffic over here. This is also going to be an area where I will require most likely a cargo terminal. Ah, oh, no! Uh, I know this is going to be quite busy, so... It's only a couple of tiles off that, you know. Um, Kind of makes this a tiny bit useless. So here then, make it a three lane that does, okay, so that's slightly off. There we go. Basically, if I can get it to work, like that, there we go, excellent, right, maybe I won't actually get rid of that, and then I know that I've made the space for it, so I can probably do a curvature, are you kidding me, alright, it's going to be a bit wonky, but uh, I'm not too bothered, like that. So that's going to be the way in. So then you can sort of choose which lane you want to be in. And then from here, we could probably run another straight piece of avenue where we do this again. Can I join into that? I sure can. Okay, so again, that gives them the option. So big, big square area. And from here, we're going to have the uh, cargo train terminal 
somewhere hereabouts. What I might do actually is grab a um, solar power plant. I'll put one in somewhere if I can actually fit one. Oh dear. Um, I'm going to put one of these in there. And then we've got generic demand across the board things, so I will sort that out. Uh, if anything actually... Yeah, residential we can definitely fill in, uh, because we do have the... Right, so let's go up with that. That should be fine. We will need services over there. I do understand that. That's fine. But... You know, there, there is actually a gap in there. I think we could probably put in some small properties. Or smaller, certainly. There is a bit of a gap there. So that might be okay. Back to this, though. Um, no, not buses. Uh, we want trains. I want a cargo terminal. Hmm, where do I actually want to bring this in? Probably down here, actually. Um... Probably there. I won't waste too much space. And then from here, what I basically want is could tunnel it. Yeah, I think we'll tunnel it here. Uh, usually, I like to bridge, but I think it's just going to make more sense to do this. Like that. Oh, that was a good one, actually. I like that connection. Yeah, I'll do. Perfect. Right. So that's now going to allow uh, this stuff to actually. Um, it's going to allow this to be more industry and generic industry got good access to most of the bits that we need it to have good access to. There's actually a small point where that's actually off there, which is a bit annoying. Um, so I may want to Let's do that, that should be fine. Um, I guess temporarily I can just build a large pipe that just comes down to here, assuming of course it's straight. Yeah, see, that's straight. There we go. So that's going to water all that area. And then the power is going to come across. Now, there is road access, so it's going to be fine. And then, basically, start with that. I will start with that. Uh, we will probably put in some local coverage of stuff, though. Uh, a little bit of healthcare, maybe, and obviously the police. And I suppose if anybody dies over here, then we probably will need to give that coverage as well. Eventually, though, this will be hooked up to the um, the main power grid with all the residential, and after that, well, it will sort of contribute to what's going on over here. So for now, that's going to be sort of a standard industry area. And then also it's going to split up some of the trucks because some of the trucks will start wanting to come over here. And I'm hoping that uneducated workers will also come over to this way. So that'd be helpful. Uh, but that's it for now then. So if you like Sim... I was about to say SimCity again. Uh, I did that in the end of the last part. But uh, if you like City Skylines, there we go. That's the right one. If you like City Skylines, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.